Product not yet rated. Medieval 2 Total War. Combine strategic warfare on an epic scale and spectacular real-time battles fought on massive, realistic battlefields. <laughs> Medieval 2's grand campaign spans five centuries of medieval war and challenges you to take control of one of 17 great kingdoms and lead them to total domination. You will use diplomacy, espionage, trade, religion, and military might. This is an age of darkness. This is total war. Hello, I'm Penny Sweeter, a game designer at the Creative Assembly. In this movie, I will show you how settlements work in the campaign game, focusing on one of Medieval 2's new features, cities and castles. Having chosen your kingdom for the Grand Campaign, you'll begin with a small number of provinces under your control. Here we're playing as the English who begin the campaign with three provinces. These are marked by the settlements Nottingham, London and over the channel Khan. This scroll gives us information on the province and its settlement. From here you can develop and improve your settlements by constructing new buildings, adjusting the tax rates and managing your kingdom's population, economy and military. As you progress through the technology tree, new buildings become available that will enable your kingdom to develop in all of these areas. In Medieval 2, settlements can be developed as either cities or castles. Cities will provide your main source of income and the technology tree reflects this by allowing you to build structures that will boost your economy and population. Castles, on the other hand, focus on the military. Developing your castles will allow you to recruit better and more varied troops for the battlefield. As a rule, castles have smaller, more stable populations and are easier to manage. And in times of war, they can quickly raise powerful armies and construct defences to resist an enemy siege. However, later in the campaign, having a greater number of cities to generate more income from taxes and trade becomes essential. Players can convert one type of settlement to the other to support their overall strategy at any point during the game. Striving for the perfect balance between cities and castles provides another compelling layer of strategy to the Total War experience. So that was a brief preview of how cities and castles work in the Medieval 2 campaign game. Join us next time as we continue to look closely at the features of the campaign game and the strategies of the battlefield in Medieval 2 Total War. Ah!